Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you for hanging out with me and joining me already. Today, I am going to do a best of 30 days of sketches um, day two with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. And as always, in every video, I would love a thumbs up. And when you're doing that, if you click that little arrow by the description, you will see the YouTube playlist that has all the videos for this best of series. Um, Christy had to create a playlist. It just simply has grown that big, which is so fun because then you get to see a lot of different takes and how people um, adapt sketches. Some people may follow it um, exactly how it is and just use papers that they love. Other people are going to adapt it like I did yesterday. I started with the sketch, but mine really didn't look like it, but I still, it, I had fun and that's all it is. It's inspiring you. So don't be intimidated and play along by all means, play along and anything else I mentioned, I'll put in those links in the description too. Now, so let's have fun today. I am working with a Kiwi Lane kit. Um, I'll put the sketch right up here and you can look at it as we go. I try to put it up and down as needed when I'm editing because it only will stay up there for so long. <laughs> I'm learning this and sometimes it's a little distracting, but I think putting it up and down is distracting too. So there's no winning. I give up. <laughs> I just give up. <laughs> okay, so... These are pictures of Jillian, and like I said, I'm using a Kiwi Lane kit. You guys, I have two years worth of Kiwi Lane kits because when I was in, living in my RV, I kept two kits. I didn't. I went on a no spend because I had nowhere to put it. I was staying in my RV, right? You guys know that story. But I also, um, I, I just no spend, but I did keep two kits. One was my Stamps of Life. You guys know me. I love that. I kept that. And two was my Kiwi Lane. And I, I love Kiwi Lane, but I have two years worth. So I canceled my subscription at the beginning of this year. And until I use them, I am not buying anymore. And the papers are beautiful. They are so, so, so pretty. And you guys will have to forgive me because I had already opened this kit. And I have no idea what month it is from, all the others I do, but this one, for some reason, um, it, every single kit, when you go through Kiwi Lane, they give you um, templates, like this one has a, a fence, it's called Homegrown, and I'll put the link for Kiwi Lane below. I'm sorry, I know there's glare from the packaging. They have a little pocket, um, and you can just buy the stencils. You don't have to be a member to buy the kit. It has a sunflower, a stem, and then the inside of the sunflower. And it, this one's homegrown one. Homegrown. I think it's a whole kit, though, when you buy them, too. These are just the pieces. They're numbered, right? So one, two, three, four, and five. But, and you can see where I've traced them and I've used them. This is a really fun way. I will tell you, if you don't have a Sizzix, or some kind of die cutting machine, but you like to make your own embellishments to go on layouts, I, I, I would encourage you to look at Kiwi Lane because they have some amazing stencils and they are a lot of fun. Truly they are. I have a ton of them and I've just decided I'm gonna start using them or I'm gonna have to give them away because this is ridiculous. So I have these and I'm gonna have to come up with a filing system. I don't even know how I'm going to do that yet. It's on my to-do list. You know that list we all have that goes and goes and goes. <laughs> we scratch two things off and put five back on the list. That's how it goes for me anyway. Okay, so I've already done, again, the sketch. I've already done, basically, it's just a chevron stripe. I did this one one inch, and I did this one one and a half inch. This paper um, is my base, and then I did go ahead and mat it. You guys know when I do 30 days of sketches, this is how I like to film. I like to create the base, pick out the photos, and then we embellish together, or at least that's how I see it. Um, I love that you hang out with me and I just chitty chat. Today though, I am going to do something a little different because usually you'll see a pile of embellishments over here. Well, I didn't want to pull everything out. I have a couple binders left. I've shown how I organize my things and I'll put that playlist below too. Um, I've switched them over to page pockets and I've shown how to make those and all of that. 
but I have a couple binders that I have not gotten into page pockets yet. And one of those, I do the swaps on Love RTS, and this is how I used to do it. And I love this, but I, I wasn't going for them because they weren't by color. This is one of those. And in this is my sunflower swap. So I don't know if I'll find a title or not, probably will. Um, but we're, I'm going to flip through this binder and I'm going to pick things to embellish this page. I, I want to use up my beautiful things from my beautiful friends who have given to me in a swap. So first I'm going to look for a title. Um, now my sunshine would work. And look, it has little sunflowers all over it. That's so cute. Uh, let's look through before I tear it out. Because once I tear it out, then I have to put it away in a binder. <laughs> Which is not bad. That's not bad. It's just, I don't want to. Let me pull this over where you guys can just look through me. This is how I gather embellishments. I mean, normally, oh, this one doesn't want to stick. Look, it wants to, it's trying to jump on the page. <laughs> it's like, I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> oh, now that is a good contender for a title. And I think it matches, look, it matches really well. So maybe. And we'll just keep looking though. Um, if you are on RTS, you will probably see one of your swap items in here. I mean, I've used a few, like there are some bare spots. Okay, so that's all, is that all my sunflowers? I think it is. All right, so, you know, because I'm being lazy today and I'm trying hard to do, I have five projects on my list today to get done. So I'm being lazy and I'm gonna go easy. And I'm going to use this and from there, I'm going to put this over here to the side. I'm going to decide where this is going to go. And I do like this. Um, you know, I kind of just like it right in the middle. I know in the sketch they have the title down here. We can try it there, right? It's not going to hurt nothing. But see, I think it's too big. And I already, no. I do, however, just like, I just like that. How simple is that? Now, I could, however, maybe do like a little cluster here. Maybe I can use one of the journaling cards from this kit. We'll, we'll see. But to do that, I feel like I need to find some flowers that will go. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. You know, I do have, when I was cutting frames last week, I have this, but it's the wrong color, isn't it? It is, that's not the right color. So I'm going to put that back. Yeah, <laughs> I need to put that, you guys, I need to clean my space. I Oh, it's just such a mess. It is. Um, I have these ones here. I think, did I make these? I did. I made these ones. Um, I have these ones here, but they're the wrong color. Uh, we're kind of going with brown. I might have to dig out my brown binder. I don't know. There's so many different tones that... Now these would work. I think Barb made these. They're pretty. Hmm, these would work though. I do like this brown, but it's too big. I might have to make some sunflowers, y'all. Here I'm trying to save time. That's what I get for being lazy. Mm -hmm. These have a different color yellow here. I do like this one. Whose is this one? Let's see. It doesn't matter whose it is. I'm going to use it. This is why I stopped using this binder method because, oh, I just hate, I hate, um, I feel like I'm going to tear things and it stresses me out. Okay. There's that. What if I were to use this and put this right? It says date of the event. Oh, I don't know who this was made by. And this one was made by, I don't know. Whoever it is, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. I could, I mean, it has the viney vine. I could stick some green, some green stems. I have lots of tuckers. My beautiful friend, Joni, sent me a whole bunch of leaves. I have them right here. Let me make sure I do not, was it Joni or was it Nikki? I'm trying to see. Nope, those are the ones I won from this Nikki. Um, I know she did. I don't wanna show anything on camera. That's why I'm trying to be super, super careful. Oh, nope. 
Mmm, I must have put them in my, to show for, well, that's okay. I have some, I do. I have a whole bunch right here in my drawer. This is literally just all stems and leaves. See, this is a green, but I don't know if I really want green. That's the problem because all of these are gray, but the brown looks nice. Yes, I'm debating with myself as we film. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good color green. I kind of like that. I really like this. I mean, I could, I said I wanted to go simple. I could 100% go simple, put the date, like Jill's, um, because I could just erase this and I could put the date, which is 2009 and Jillian's name and just leave my sunshine and then just tuck some stems in. What else do I have in my little tuckers here? That's what I call these. Mm, those are more branchy like, ooh. ooh, 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 I know somebody made these and gifted them to me. There's even some brown in here. Let's see, let's see. I don't remember who, so whoever it was, I'm sorry. I'm sure I said thank you at the time, but you know, you guys bless me so much that I honestly cannot remember anymore. <laughs> I just, see, I like that. I think that might go well. And the green, here, we're gonna try. We're gonna grab out three of this color. I'm gonna do it off camera so it's not quite so much. Okay, well, there's four. And then I have these. And maybe I'll grab, okay, so I'm gonna put those aside. Stems, everywhere stems. I'm gonna put these over here. And then I'm thinking, I'm, I am pretty sure these ones were made by Barb. And I could maybe even dress this up. I have three. Two are identical and one, and see here it has this color. So I'm thinking maybe if I tuck those in, that one came undone a little bit. Oh, see, I'm liking that. And look, the stem is coming out. I'm okay with a little bit of the photo covered. I don't know where those came from. Um, I could still go like this, put this in like that. I can put the date. I could even maybe tuck this underneath some more. I don't know about that. Um, I do have this one, but I think I'm gonna, there is one more here. I'll bring my binder back over. There is this one, but it matches these really well. Um, so I, maybe I'll leave that. We'll see what happens. Let's see where this goes. Okay, so I'm putting my hair back. This is about to get hairy. <laughs> Now I like these a lot, but they're a little bright. So like yesterday, I could dull them down with my favorite ink. All right, so I have my daubers. I'm gonna have to, sometimes we just have to manipulate things. All right, so I think it's this one, or is it that other one? I'm gonna do it with both green it's this one, I have the wrong dauber, this one's dark. All right, let me get my scrappy piece, my scrappy piece of paper. Um, You know what, Ginger, you need to move this before you have an accident. <laughs> okay, we are gonna do it, we are. All right, green, green, leaves. I, I, I've got a plan. Does anybody else scrap like this? This is how I scrap. Okay, see, I'm just making it a little bit darker. You know, I'm still saving time. I didn't have to dig out my Sizzix and so. And I'm using things I have, right? That's the idea for me anyway. See the difference, how this is a bright green and this is not anymore. But I'm still gonna go over it with my brown as well. I'll let this dry for a minute. Okay, that one can dry. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. It's a mixed media field. It's like my own stencil. Okay. Just going to continue. So 
So yesterday, I had the most blessed day. I received two blessings, well, many blessings, but two that really stand out in my mind. I got to meet Miss Kelly, and she gave me a box of goodies, which I have not had a chance to go through, that I am going to forward to a special person and possibly make some things and I don't I don't know I peeked through it a little bit and Kelly if you're watching this oh my gosh there's so much stuff in there I, I don't oh, I'll have to message you because what I discussed I was gonna do it'll cost me an arm and a leg to ship it <laughs> I don't know if I can do all that <laughs> but I can split it up and I can make some scrappy goody things I really don't know where this went I wonder if it fell down in here <laughs> you know my little computer hole. And, uh, I told my husband I needed him to make me a, oh goodness, which one of these did I do first? Hmm. Go with this one. Let's see how it gives it another dimension. That one got a little dark, but that's okay. I don't want him to be crazy. I just want him to have a little texture. Um, What was I going to say? And then, I, I kind of remember. Squirrel! Then I had a wonderful message from a beautiful person who truly blessed my day with their words because lately, you guys, I cannot keep up. Like, I thought, okay, summer's coming. I'm going to have lots of time. No, I have been hitting the ground running every single morning since school got over with my kids. Like, every morning I have been running nonstop. I don't even know why I need to diet. All I do is run like a crazy person but I do need to diet. That's okay. I'm doing good. Oh, green. Green goes in here. Let me put this away. Okay. Done. This needs to go in the put away pile. All right. So now I have these. Put this up here. I have these. Put these this back underneath here and bring my beautiful layout over and let's start tucking. I think those are a lot better and I just want some elements. Some pretty, pretty elements. We can even put it so it looks like they're leaves coming off the sunflowers. Look at that. Okay. This is working. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay. I really like this. I do, however, think I need to put it up here because we need to see the words. So, hmm. I'm not going to do this one. I may need to cut this. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. Sorry for my reach. And go like that. And just kind of like a fussy cut so it still looks like a leaf. Never know what we're gonna use it for. And like that. All right, so now I've created two. See the difference? Look at the difference, how much. Isn't that crazy? But that's why we buy those inks, right? That's that's what we do. Buy all these products, we gotta use them. Okay, I like that. Then I'm going to tuck this one, I'm thinking, up here maybe even. Yeah, like that. Might have to cut this one. Okay, we're just gonna do it again. Nobody's gonna know unless Y'all tell them. <laughs> I'm going to tuck this one under there. I'm liking it. And I'm going to tuck this one under here. See, look, I made three into five. That's how you do it, right there. Okay, I think that gives it a pop of color. The green is the color to something different. Now, do I want these or don't I? I think I do because, see, I think these match really well. And I don't have to have them this big. Again, I can make them fit for what I want. These, when you guys hear me say tuckers, this is what I'm talking about. I'm just tucking them in, filling it up. I'm gonna cut this little stem off. And let's see here. Should I put some under here? I think I will. Oops, oh, I don't wanna bend that. It's pretty sturdy paper that that's on, but still don't want to bend it. 
Oh, come on. Seriously? Work with me. Hmm. I'm going to have to turn this so I can get under there. Just want to tuck you in here. Just let me put him in there. Play nice. When my grandbaby was here, I used to tell her that. Gotta play nice. Oh my gosh, I can't get it in there. Y'all, this thing has a mind of its own. It's like, no, I'm not gonna do it. You can't make me. Okay, there's that. All right. Then, let's see here. I'm wondering if I shouldn't go this way. I can turn this any way I want. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Just need some color. There we go. Tie it all in. I'm liking that. All right. I have all of these. I think I'm just going to use one more. I am going to... Let's see here. I think I'm going to completely take these apart. Because I can stick one there. Give this a little bit of layers. Right? And I could stick this one. Cut it here. Even here. Right? No wrong way. Do it however I want. Straighten that out. Sorry. I needed to turn it. It just was not working. Put this one maybe under here. If it will allow me to do so. There we go. And look at that. I've tied it all together. Okay. I am really liking that. I will put Jill's name here and her year because I have a lot more pictures. This is my charger page. You guys have heard me say that. This is my charger page and then I am going to have a flip, um, a pocket that's going to be here in between and I have a page that I am going to mimic this page off of that's going to go on the other side. This will end up being a two-page layout and a pocket in between for me. So, I really like this design. It's so simple. I mean, it did take me a minute to, um, whoops, need to glue that down. It did take me a minute to get these the right length and everything, but I'm okay with that. And look at that. I used all embellishments from Love RTS and I got some things out of my binder that I don't have to put away. So, and I will continue to use sunflowers in my pocket letter. Um, I'm going to go glue this down and I will be right back guys I got it all glued down as usual I'm not patient you might see some glue so um I did everything basically like I said I was gonna do I did add these blue gray enamel dots I wanted the enamel dots to be subtle but it kind of matches this color here in the paper um and I have a ton of gray enamel dots I don't know why and I need to use them up that's what this is about for me I'm using stuff up so there is the cluster, how it came together. Again, you might see a little bit of glue drying still. I get, I'm not a patient person. And then here is the cluster there on the bottom with the beautiful sunflowers from my scrappy friends. I don't know who made this and I don't know who made this, but they are just beautiful and they worked perfect for this layout. Made it super simple, super fast. So again, if you guys want some easy, easy, easy ways to embellish at your page, come over to Love RTS, click on that um, link and join us. We have scraps every single week. So with that said, thank you for joining me. Check out the other creators that Christy has collaborated and put together for 30 Days of Sketches, and I will see you guys later. Have a very, very blessed day. Bye.